air assist for your laser. I get a lot of questions on, you know, what's the best air assist pump? How big of one do I need? Uh, what brand is best? Well, I've got five different flavors of them right here I'm going to kind of go over. Plus there's also the option of using shop air, as I call it, if you have a air compressor in your shop. There's a caveat with that and we'll get into that in a minute. So I'm going to go over first here, there's different size air pumps and they put out different amounts of air, of course, as you know, you get uh, small ones here, uh, 25 liters per minute air output, it says on that one. And on this one, there is no specification. This one here, this happens to be uh, Acma brand, just for giggles, I, we'll just go over a couple brands here. This one here is from MechPow. This one has a switch on it to increase or decrease the airflow, plus a, a power switch for on and off. So some air pumps don't have that. So for example, this one here plugs in separate with a little wall wart. This has a switch, you do have to remember to turn it off. Some of them don't have a switch. Uh, for example, this uh, Acma right here does not have an individual switch, but it connects to this particular laser with a Y cable here. So if you unplug your power supply, then that also turns the air pump off. The uh, Ortur, and I don't have the cord on it right now, and this is, well, get, right now, this is my go-to air pump when I'm not using shop air, uh, unless uh, the laser came with a specific air pump. For example, my uh, x 2 s one and my WeCreate both have dedicated air pumps that came with the units that's controlled by the software. So those are, that's a big plus with those. But that's a completely separate subject, really. But for just uh, general laser use, if I'm not using shop air, I like this Ortur pump right here. It's, it's, I don't know what the output is on it. 50 liters per minute, so it cranks out some air. And it has a variable speed control on it where you can uh, dial in the amount of air you want. But this one here is also not cheap. This is one that you see with uh, a lot of the lasers that come with air assist. Uh, it's kind of a generic they're probably all made in one in the same factory with just rebranded and it just plugs in 120 volt there's no uh, switch or air control or anything on it it just does what it does output on this is 30 liters per minute then on the low budget end without uh, really breaking the bank and I used to use these all the time uh, before I went to the bigger pumps and my shop air is the Pawfly MC3000. This is actually an aquarium pump. And the air output on this is 16 liters per minute, which is perfectly adequate for a 5 or 10 watt laser. Uh, if you get into the higher wattages, say 30 or 40 watt, you're going to want, you're going to be obviously cutting some uh, thicker materials. You want an air assist that has more volume to it. Not necessarily pressure, but you need to have the volume. So something like uh, this little guy here, this little uh, 25 liter per minute, I can't believe that little pump puts that out, but uh, suitable for 5, 10, 20 watt lasers, no problem. This uh, MechPow here, this does not have a uh, rating on it, but it is variable speed. It would, it's, uh, it's fine for 10 and 20 watt, 5, 10, 20 watt. You get in the 30, 40 watt, you need the higher output like I use with this or tour. Now, the other option is using shop air. So if you have an air compressor in your shop, obviously you need to put a regulator on because you're going to have to turn that air pressure way down. And I do mean way down, you know, five, 5 to 10 PSI tops. You need to have an air dryer because if you get any moisture that comes through that air line and hits that laser lens, you're going to break it. It'll instantly just shatter. So you absolutely have to have completely dry air. I do have an air dryer on my uh, big compressor, which is in a closet back yonder there. I do have an air dryer in there. I also have a portable one here for when I'm doing painting and gel coating and stuff like that. And I'm not using my shop air. 
Uh, same thing with putting on uh, paint coatings or uh, finishes. You definitely don't want any water in it because it's going to ruin the finish. Again, if air hits that or water hits that lens on your laser, it's going to break it. This is something you can uh, make. This is a, uh, of course, it's got a regulator, it's got a filter, then it's got two desiccant dryers on it. And these desiccant dryers are, have replaceable beads in there. You can uh, take the beads out and actually you can uh, dry them out again in a microwave or in a low oven. And then you can put the beads back in or you can use refills. It's, it's easy. Uh, this is not necessarily cheap, but if you have uh, several lasers, for example, and you want to use shop air as I do. In fact, my CO2 laser uses shop air exclusively. Of, you definitely want to have a good air dryer on it and a good regulator. So you want to have a pressure regulator that's reliable and works well. Uh, the ones you see at uh, Harbor Freight and that are like okay, but it's better if you can go to a little bit higher level. Otherwise, uh, I suggest using these types of air pumps that come with your laser or you can buy optionally. I hope this covers a little bit about what the different sizes and what they are. Of course some of them are noisy as all get out. This sorter is quiet. This pawfly is quiet. These here, what I call the generic pump, can be quiet if you uh, don't place it on a metal surface. It does have little rubber feet on it but they are quite loud. Hopefully you can hear that buzz in there. When you get some pressure on it, back pressure, it will actually get a little bit louder. And I'll grab this here, little MacPow one here too, we'll give it a shot. So this has a little bit of a rumble to it, but this does not have any feet on it, so if you put it on a metal surface, it's going to get much louder. So you'd want to put it on, you know, on wood, for example, or something more isolated. So I hope that answers uh, the questions on air assist pumps. How big a one do I need? What kind do I need? Can I use shop air, air off my air compressor? And I hope that kind of answered your questions. This isn't sponsored by anybody. I've got stuff from all different brands here. This I built. Uh, all of these components are available on Amazon. And I did a video on uh, building this. At least I think I did. I'll have to look into that. And if I did, I'll put a link in the description. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. Of course, we're always looking for subscribers. Roger in the shop. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.